Hello, my name is Balraj Singh and today I will discuss a very important topic called plate tectonics. This lecture will be helpful in IAS and other state civil service exams and other competitive exams as well. This lecture will be helpful in geography optional as well as general studies. Now the word plate tectonics is made up of two words, plate and tectonics. The word plate was given by a Canadian geophysicist, Tuzo Wilson. Plates are nothing but simply thick pieces of lithosphere. And we can see in this diagram that these lithospheric pieces are above the plastic asthenosphere. And lithosphere is simply the crust and some bit of upper mantle. While the word tectonics has been derived from a Greek word which means building. And this building happens due to the motion of plates. The theory of plate tectonics was built on certain old theories like the continental drift theory, sea floor spreading and the paleomagnetic researches. Now this theory has certain assumptions. It assumes that the lithosphere is floating over the dense and plastic asthenosphere and the lithosphere is broken into amorphous pieces which are large and small which make the larger plates and the smaller plates called the major plates and the minor plates. And the crustal material is fixed according to this theory. This means the destruction of crust which occurs along the converging boundaries and the construction of the crust which occurs along the diverging boundaries leads to a constant crustal material and its other assumption is that the interaction of the plate boundaries occurs along the boundaries. Now we can see the theory of plate tectonics in two parts. One is the geometric part. This part refers to the size, shape, location and the number of plates. And on this basis we can see that the structure of plates can be continental plates, oceanic plates and partially continental and partially oceanic plates. And on this basis we can have seven major plates. Pacific Plate, Eurasian Plate, African Plate, Indo-Austral Plate, North American Plate, South American Plate and the Antarctic Plate. Now we will come to the most important part of the theory which is called the kinematic part. This part refers to the motion of the plates. According to this part, there are three kinds of plate boundaries. The diverging plate boundaries, the converging plate boundaries and the sliding plate boundaries. The diverging plate boundaries are those boundaries which in which two plates move away from each other. We can see in this diagram that plate 1 is moving away from plate 2 and this movement happens because of the underlying magma which moves and along its movement it also drags the plate lying above it. And similarly the other plate also moves in the opposite direction because of the magma moving in a cyclic fashion. So these two plates move away and now we will see the origin of the diverging boundaries. The diverging boundaries originate by a phenomenon called intracrustal thinning. This happens when rising magma eats away the part of the crustal material of a plate and it leads to its thinning and ultimately the two plates separate and this leads to the development of diverging plate boundaries. Now we will also look at the phenomenon that goes along the diverging plate boundaries. In this diagram you can see the two plates are moving away and magma is rising up and because of the rising magma new crustal material is formed along the diverging boundaries and that is why these plate boundaries are also called constructive plate boundaries. And in between the diverging plate boundaries and the new crustal material which is formed there is a rift valley also which is formed between the new crustal material and here we can see this in this diagram also. Now we will come to the converging plate boundaries. The converging plate boundaries originate when two plates collide. We can see in the diagram two plates have collided. One is a denser plate and other is a lighter plate. Usually the oceanic plate is the denser plate and the continental plate is the lighter plate. On account of being denser the continental plate goes down Whereas the, con whereas the continental plate stays up and when it reaches a depth of about 100 to 300 kilometers, something called partial melting and differentiation happens. Due to this, mag 
the plate melts and the magma rises up and when it rises up, it rises and makes a hole in the continental plate and here a volcanic arc is formed. Whereas along the trench, when we are looking at the oceanic plate which is going down, there is sedimental deposit also on the plate and this due to friction while going down leads to the formation of a tectonic arc which is nothing but simply accumulation of the material which has been scrapped up. So here we have a tectonic arc. The Andes have also formed in a similar fashion. And now we will uh, also see that the, when it goes down, it goes down at an angle of 45 degrees and this zone is called the Benioff zone. And now we look at the sliding plate boundaries. The sliding plate boundaries are usually very rare and uh, they are found only in a very few places like they are found in San Andreas Fault located in California. Along these boundaries neither material is created nor it is destroyed. That is why they are also called the conservative boundaries. But along these boundaries very powerful earthquakes are witnessed. This happens because when two plates move away from one another there is friction between the two plates and when the rocks collide and when they exceed their elastic limit they suddenly rupture and a huge earthquake is created. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Stay tuned, I'll upload more videos. Thank you.